Welcome back for another edition of our educational series uh, out here at the Wapla County Conservation Board. Today is kind of a preparation day because we have two ornate box turtles here which are a threatened species of turtle. To be clear, it's illegal to have any animal out of the wild without the proper permits, but to take a threatened species of turtle is probably a little bit worse. And these two turtles, you will notice, have paint on their back. And that is because these were seized from the illegal wildlife trade. Someone took these turtles out of the wild. They tried to sell them as racing turtles, also as a mating pair. Uh, the problem with that is, one, they're a threatened species. You can't take them out of the wild and sell them. Uh, two, they're actually both females, uh, making them not a very good mating pair. But preparation today is in getting them ready to go back out into the wild. We have had these two turtles since last fall. We had them, uh, we were given them from the Iowa DNR to keep track of uh, during the trial. The trial got over almost as winter was getting over, so we couldn't release them. But now it's warm enough, we can release them back into their native habitat of the sand prairie. And we're gonna prepare them by giving them a marking that will let us identify them in the future because this paint is not going to last forever and we want to know who they are if we find them again. So we're actually going to notch their shells and each notch in that shell is going to be corresponding to a letter that is given to each scoot. So I'm actually going to put this one down, seems a little agitated, we're going to put this one down and we're going to work on the other one. So on each turtle's shell, there are these little scales or scoots along the edge. Each one of those is given a letter. A would be the first one, and X is the last one. And this one's going to get A, I, and W. We're going to write that down. We're going to make sure that we remember that one. And if we ever find it in the future, we'll know which one it is. We'll know it's one of the... Uh, illegal wildlife trade turtles that we re released into Eddyville. So to mark them, we actually just use a triangular shaped file. Uh, this will not harm the turtle because this scale is just like your fingernail. So as long as you um, cut it just on the edge, you're not going to have any trouble with them being hurt. It's kind of like clipping your dog's toenails. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this notch and since A is our first letter, we're going to just file this right into the edge of that shell and she's going to go in her shell to hide so we don't get her beak and we're just going to notch this out until we know that it's there. So now we've got a nice notch in that shell and we're going to do the I and the W and once that's done uh, she'll be ready to be released later in the week and we will continue this video at the Eddyville Sand Prairie. Now that we are ready for these turtles to be released, they've been notched, they've been marked and ready to go, these two females are ready. They are in Eddyville at the Sand Prairie and you can kind of see behind me all the spiderwort is in bloom. Seems like the perfect time. These guys are really active. They seem like they're ready to start their new life back in the sand prairie. Uh, the Eddyville Sand Prairie, in case you've never been here, is an area where it's got sandy, well-drained soil. So it's more of a short grass prairie. Kind of a rare habitat. You don't see it very often. There's prickly pear cactus here, which a lot of people uh, don't know about. Prickly pear is edible, not only for us, but for these turtles. So lots of bugs, lots of plants they can eat here. Uh, that soil is easy to dig into, so it's easy to dig a nest. Uh, to get out of the heat of the day, especially right now, it's going to be 80 degrees today plus. Good way to get out of the sun and easy for uh, digging their burrows to hibernate all winter long. So we're hoping that now that they've been rescued from the illegal wildlife trade, they've spent a winter uh, inside, that they will still be able to uh, survive out here. They will find mates and they will increase the population of this threatened species of turtle out here. And of course, we hope, since they're marked, that we'll find them again and we'll know that they're doing okay. 
But what we're gonna do today, since it's such a nice day, is we're gonna release them. We're gonna let them back into their home and we're gonna let them do what turtles do out here, which is hide from us um, and make it very difficult for us to find. But we're gonna let them go and hopefully when you come up here to visit, you will get to see some of these turtles and get to see that great habitat that they get to live in. So until next time, enjoy these guys running through the prairie as we let them go. And we'll have another video hopefully next week.